In this clip, we're going to learn about merge nodes. Okay, so to create a merge node, again, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can hover over my node graph area and hit the M key, or I can hit tab and type in merge, or I can come over here to all of the different nodes I have access to and choose merge from this little menu that kind of looks like a stack right there. So because I had that merge selected still, because it automatically selects it when you create a new one, I was uh, holding on to it. When I created that last merge, it automatically hooked this one into it. Now, that's just kind of a functionality of Nuke. It's not something that you need to be extremely aware of now, but just know that if something automatically gets hooked up, it may have something to do with the fact of what you previously had selected when you created it. So if I select this merge again, I'll just show you one more time. I have this one selected. Let's drop in another one. And you can see again, it automatically hooked it up. Okay, so we don't need these mergers, we just need the one. So I'll select those just by left clicking and dragging a box around them and then hitting backspace or delete to get rid of them. Now this merge that we have here is the one that we are, I'm wanting to, to work with, that first one we created. So how do we know which of these read nodes our robot or our field, we want to be on the B pipe versus the A pipe of our merge. Well, one thing that you need to keep in mind is that the A pipe is always going to be the thing that you want on top in a typical merge operation of over. So the merge node defaults to this over operation. Now when I hover over this, you can see a lot of other types of operations pop up. And a few of those are going to come into play uh, throughout this course. But for now, in the very beginning of you just kind of getting your feet wet with Nuke, I want to just focus on this over operation. Now, um, you might notice also that some of these are familiar as we're looking at the list. Um, the, a lot of them kind of might remind you of some blend modes in After Effects like multiply or plus or screen, soft light. And then there's also a few of these um, that are going to work kind of like track mats. So matte and stencil are going to be familiar in the way that they actually function. Now, don't get too hung up on that. Like I said, let's just focus on over for now. But just know that merge has a lot to do with the way that two different read nodes or um, co um, composites of several read nodes work together. So that's what the merge node is all about. You can use it in a lot of different ways, but you can also just use it for a simple operation like you would in After Effects. You kind of maybe take it a little bit for granted that the thing that you want to go in front always goes at the top of your stacking order. So you're just placing, you know, your foreground over your background. Really simple, right? Well, Nuke isn't much more complicated than that. You simply take your foreground read node and plug it into the A. So foreground, the top first goes with A. So I also like to set my node graph up like this, where my A is coming in from the left and my B pipe is always moving down. And that is not just a preference I have, it's somewhat of an industry standard. And the reason for this is because if you have, you know, if I had it set up like this, where the A pipe was was going uh, down like this, and I wanted my B pipe um, to continue on, I would be working very horizontally, and it's best to work down. So B pipe needs to be kind of on top like this. Now that might be confusing if you're thinking of it as this kind of top-down structure the way, the way layers are organized in After Effects. Um, but simply think of it as A is the thing that you're bringing in, you're adding A for add kind of on top and maybe think of B as background instead of it being more of a one, two kind of hierarchy like that. Think of A as add and B as background. So 
let's go ahead and view our merge. So right now my viewer is set uh, on this read node and I can left click and drag that little arrow down to the merge node. And now we can see both of these images at the same time. Our merge node is putting them together, one on top of the other. Now, just to show you some other ways that we can work with this viewer, um, if I want to view different parts of this individually without the merge, I don't have to always left click and drag the arrow around. I can select the node that I want to view and use the, the number keys. So I hit the key one there, and then I select this one and hit one again, and it, the reason I'm using one is because there's a tiny little number one right there assigned to that pipe on the viewer. Now, what if I use a different number? So let me select this one and I'll hit number two. So now we're viewing out the same viewer, but we've got a different pipe. So this is the two pipe. And now what I can do is toggle back and forth. So now I'm hitting one, two, one, two. And this makes it easy for me to kind of look at uh, things in different parts of the pipeline and almost have kind of a shortcut to viewing one specific part. And I can add an, even a third one, three, for the merge. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And now because I had one selected, I accidentally assigned one to the merge as well. So let's fix that. So now we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. So now you've learned a little bit about how to navigate with your viewer. We've also learned about merge nodes and how to view those merge nodes. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next clip where we're going to be learning about alpha channels.